Okay, so in this uh, short series, I'm going to show how to build a URL shortener. We're going to use uh, HTML and CSS to create our form and everything, and the web page itself that will um, submit information to a PHP file, um, which will add it to our database. Um, and we're going to be using a MySQL database um, and um, a single table. That's all you need. Um, so you can use an existing database for this. And uh, we're also going to use some HT access um, to pretty much make the URL look really nice looking. Kind of like a, uh, a bit.ly link. Um, in all likeliness, you've probably seen a bit.ly or bit.ly um, where it has the bit.ly slash and then just some random letters and or numbers. Um, and that's what we're going to make it look like. So uh, let's go ahead and just get started. So I have two files created in my URL shortener um, <coughs> folder here. It's just an index and a main.css. Uh, the index is a PHP file. The CSS file um, right now has nothing inside of it. The index has um, just a real generic index right here. Um, <coughs> now I'm not really going to style this at all. Um, I'm just going to show you the PHP code and the HT access code um, in order to do this. So um, we're going to be using very little CSS and HTML, but it'll still be here. So what we want to do first is in our index page, we want to create a form with an action um, and a method. And we're just going to go ahead and set the method now, and we're going to set the post. We can go ahead and put in our end form tag. So inside of our form, we're going to have a text box. So input type equals, and our type is going to be text. So we're going to have a text box. Um, we're going to give it a name of URL. And for now, we're not going to have anything else right there. Then we're going to put in a line break tag, or a VR tag, a new line tag, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then after that, we're going to put in an input type of submit. So we're going to have a submit button. Um, we're going to give it a name of um, short btn. And we're going to give it a value of uh, shorten. So if right now, if I just go and refresh the page, we just have a text box and a um, button right here. Now, since we have yet to set an action, what I'm going to do is the action, I'm going to set it to period slash, which means it's going to be in the current directory. And we're going to set it to add.php. Um, so that's what our file is going to be called. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this code in here, and I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to paste it in and save it as add.php, and it's in the same directory as the other files. Now I'm going to get rid of the form, and in its place I'm going to put in PHP tags. So. Inside of our PHP tags, we need to get our our button to make sure that the button has in fact been clicked or pressed, if you will. Um, and then we also need to get the URL itself. So we need to say if. So we need to create a simple if statement. Um, and if the button has not been pressed, what we're going to do is we're going to make it redirect to our home page um, automatically. So if the button has been pressed, and the code for that is dollar sign underscore post in all caps, and then we have brackets, no, not curly brackets, standard brackets, um, and inside we have quotation marks that could be double or single, doesn't matter. Um, inside of our quotation marks, we have to say um, short btn, I think it was called, and this is the name of our button. So just to make sure, yep, short btn. So after we've got made sure that our button has been pressed, we want to get our URL. So URL, dollar sign URL equals dollar sign underscore post, 
Again, it's the exact same code for our um, short button, except we need to get our URL. And we're going to say if, and we're going to say if dollar sign URL. So pretty much it's saying that if the user has entered in a URL, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the code for a redirect. Now this redirect is going to be using JavaScript, um, which is really simple to do. So inside of our echo, we're going to have uh, script tags. So I'm just going to head and end the script, script tag. Um, and we need to set a type equal to text slash JavaScript. And in between our start script tag and our end script tag, we need to say window dot location equals, and we need to put single quotation marks. And this you want to set to the location of your website. Now, I believe if we just set this equal to dot slash index.php, it should just redirect back to the index page. Now if you don't want it to have the um, index.php showing in your URL, then just don't put in um, index.php, but you still must have the period slash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it into the other echo statement, and just to test this to make sure it's working, I'm simply going to echo out the URL if it's, if it's present. So, if I refresh the page, if I click the shorten button, so you can see it's taken it's taken us to the page, um, but since the URL has not been entered, it automatically redirects us back to the index page. So if I say the URL is this is a test, click shorten, it echoes out this is a test. So that's working. Now um, we want to get rid of our echo statement there. And inside of this area is really where a lot of the magic happens. This is where we're going to add it to our database and generate our random, um, our random key, if you will, um, which will make it so we can have a unique URL. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, and I'm going to put in PHP tags, and I'm going to save it as connect.php. So this is going to be our connect file. So inside of here, I'm going to put in some variables. We're going to have server equals, and for me, this is just going to be local hosts. Um, we're also going to have a username, or I'm going, to, I'm going to just call it db underscore user, and this is going to be root. We're going to have db underscore pass, which is going to be set to password. And then we're going to have a db underscore table. And for me, my database table is called URL underscore shortener. You can see it right there in the uh, title bar for Firefox. So this is going to be URL underscore shortener. Now, the reason I'm setting it as variables is because it makes it very easy for yourself um, to change the variables. After this, after this, we want to put in our MySQL underscore connect underscore DB. So we need to connect to our database using our variables. So if this takes four parameters, or three parameters, sorry. Our first parameter is our server. Our next one is our DB underscore user. And then we have DB underscore pass. After we have selected our database, or connected, we actually, I, uh, I misspoke and mistyped, that should just be mysql underscore connect. The next thing we need to call is mysql underscore uh, select underscore db. And inside of here, we need to say db underscore table. So we need to um, connect to our database using our server name, our username, and our password. And then we, need, we want to select our database table. So after you have created your connect file, you can just go ahead and close it. Now if we go back to our add.php file, we can now um, use a require, and we need to require our connect.php file. And I'm actually, just in case, I'm going to put a dot slash, meaning that it's in the current directory. We also need to put in our mysql underscore close to close our connection. Get rid of these empty spaces. 
Now, in between here is uh, where we want to create a query. Um, and actually, before we do this, uh, we're going to go ahead and create our database itself, or our uh, database table. So we have our uh, database right here, URL underscore shortener. We need to create our table. Now the table is going to be called, um, I guess for lack of a better name, I'm going to call it items. Now it's going to it's going to need a couple of things. We're going to need an ID, and that's just for uh, a user preference. I always have an ID with every database I make. Um, we have an ID. We're obviously going to have the URL that it's going to. We're going to have our code or our key, um, and that's going to be our randomly generated um, code that will make it so we can have a shortened URL, a unique shortened URL. And just because, I'm going to go ahead and add a date. So we have four fields. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. So we're going to have four fields. So we're just going to type all this back in. So ID, URL, uh, code, and date. Now our ID, I'm going to set this to an int. Um, if you're putting this on a live web server and you intend to have lots and lots of users and people using this, then you may want to set this to a big int to account for lots of users. Uh, we need to set an index of primary and an A underscore I or auto increment. Um, our URL we need to set to a varchar and I'm actually going to set it to a text just because people can enter uh, very long URLs um, that's probably why they're using a URL shortener. Um, our code is going to be a varchar and for now I'm just going to set it to 20 characters or a length of 20 even though um, we're probably going to set it to about 5 characters because um, this is sort of just a proof of concept um, and our date, I'm just going to hit go ahead and set to 50 characters, even though we won't need it. So I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to add everything to the database. And if I click on the browse or structure tab, since there's nothing in the database, it's just going to show the structure tab. So we have our database table created. So what we need to do now is we go back to our add page. We need to create a query. So what our query is going to do is we're going to make sure that um, we're going to make sure that our code is not already in the database. So actually, what we need to do is we need to create our code first. So for now, I'm just going to comment that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a couple of variables. First one is going to be char set or character set, and this is just going to be whoops. This is going to be a giant text string that's going to contain all the letters A through Z in both lowercase and capital, and also zeros are, are also numbers 0 through 9. So I'm going to pause and type all that in. Okay, so now I have our character set typed in, um, which makes it um, about 60 or so characters, actually like 62 or so uh, characters long. Um, so obviously that's going to be a, a good character set, and so we can get uh, lots of random, random values out of it. Um, so next we want to set a length variable, or len, um, and now, um, like I said, our length is just going to be 5 since this is simply a proof of concept. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a for loop, whoops, a for loop. Now, what this for loop is going to do is it's going to loop, it's going to continuously loop through um, our character uh, character set, randomly selecting values from it um, until our code is fi or, uh, is in this case five characters long. But since I'm running out of time in this video, that will be in part two of my URL shortening tutorial.